I think when the WHO uh, Director General declares these uh, emergencies, it's th that that's already quite a significant and important milestone for a disease. And as you know, it is already uh, there's been uh, some an individual in Sweden apparently that's been diagnosed with it. So, and as I said all along, infectious diseases are not about a country; they're not about a continent. They spread. That's the job of an infectious agent. So let's remember that as we talk through the rest of this conversation. And um, what we've got here is uh, not quite a replay of what we had two years ago, which was a slightly different version of this um, monkeypox virus, the disease called mpox now. And the virus comes in two flavors, clade one, clade two, that's, uh, that kind of looks at its, uh, based on its genomic structure. And this particular one is clade one, which is normally um, less um, um, uh, b b often found. Uh, hadn't you know, the last one was clade two, and this clade one has got a major chunk of its genome that's been taken out. And those who study these things have been writing that it has made it more transmissible through not just contact with um, pus, for example, but also through sexual activity, which is not what clade one uh, previously had but also just very close contact. So um, unlike COVID, if you remember, there were stories with COVID where you go into a restaurant and you sit diagonally across 20, 30 feet away and you still have a risk of catching it because it gets blown around by the um, air conditioning. I don't think we're at that level with MPOX yet, I don't, with this particular clade 1B. I can't be 100% sure, but I don't think it's like that. Mm. You still do need the close contact and that's where we're, uh, that's where my knowledge kind of ends at the minute. These viruses do have a nasty habit of uh, bringing surprises to us. Well, Sam, that's my next question would be, how quickly can this evolve? And what is kind of that look like in terms of uh, similarities or differences to, as you mentioned, the 2022 uh, MPOX or something that's more kind of well known, obviously, in COVID? Yeah, yeah. So 2022, we still had 95,000 people who were infected. It did become a major issue in many countries. So. Uh, let's not forget that. And so far, um, I, from the last count I heard about, there's been 17,500 infections that have been documented uh, in the regions that have reported it. Um, so uh, how far can this go? It all depends on that mode of transmission. It all depends on, remember the days we went from a standard, uh, if you want to call it that, uh, uh, coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, to the Omicron variant, which had so many mutations that made it completely invisible to our immune systems. So everybody got another infection round. I'm pretty sure you do recall that last lockdown, I think it was. Oh, definitely um, remember all that, Sam. <laughs> Don't you worry. Yeah, so, <laughs> but I mean, it just feels like a really weird period of our lives. And so here we have something that, if the rules are that it plays with are still the same as before, it does need close contact, which means you should be able to um, avoid uh, an infection if you're careful enough. The, the other element, of course, is that we do have vaccines that do work. There is a uh, six to 700 million uh, stockpile, stockpile of uh, smallpox vaccines around, both the older generation and new generation. Um, and there are two mRNA vaccines in development that could be sped up if needed. So we do know that vaccination helps, uh, but it does have a higher mortality rate um, standard uh, to even uh, uh, the people who, who get it uh, that, that are, um, that's not just like elderly people, which was mostly a COVID issue, um, than COVID did. So it can kill more and it can kill all different ranges, not just say the elderly, but we do have the vaccine. What about a treatment? Uh, there was a treatment that actually was is being studied um, by a company called SIGA, and that just failed in trials only two days ago. Um, oh. And it was being tested in the uh, in the Congo, and it was being t against clade one. Um, uh, the, the, but the good, the silver side, the silver lining of that report is that the mortality rate that they they came out with was lower than what people talk about. People talk about three to six percent, but in that trial, mortality was like. Not small, one and a half, one point seven percent, from what I have read. So that does give you a little flavor as to maybe it's not as bad, but it's obviously one point six, one point seven percent is still pretty awful. Uh, 